taken an oath of when I was 19 years old to uh, protect and defend the Constitution of the United States from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And what that meant was I was willing to give my life for my country, to, for, the, for the country, for the Constitution, and for the American people. I haven't lost that. Once that's in your blood, you're, you realize that there are things more important than me. And I'm going to continue to fight for my Constitution and every bit of the Constitution, including Article 5. When I took the oath of, for the Air Force to defend the country and the Constitution, I took that as a lifetime oath. I'm serving as a civilian today to save the Constitution and the United States. That time in service meant a lot to me. Just realized that this constitutional solution um, was most likely the, the only answer that's left. I think this is the most important thing I've ever done in my life. That this is the lawful, peaceful, constitutional recourse to what they're upset about with our federal government. I strongly believe that our only way out of the situation we have right now is to give the power back to the people and back to the states. I got friends buried in Arlington and a lot of other places around this country. And what they died for wasn't just simply the foundation of the nation, but the preservation and maintenance of those freedoms. The only way we're gonna save this republic, I believe, is to get about the process of the states regaining and recontrolling the federal government because it is the states that created the federal government. It is the states that must control it. State legislatures have the power acting together. That's why our founders created a mechanism in the Constitution. This is going to be the biggest army of Americans who love our country and love liberty that has ever arisen. This is the only way back. And all the people that say, what can we do? This is the answer. We are calling you to a greater calling.